Chapter 18 So there I was, minding Gutless's business, pawing through papers on top of his desk and exploring for something with Hench's address, when I spotted his lighter, a very elaborate silver cigar lighter shaped like a cat, and engraved with the signature H.H., the initials spelled trouble, and something rapid and cold and nasty was licking my spine like a hideous spider. It crawled to my ear and then started to scream at me, Hurry and hide! Except it was Buster, hollering hoarsely from out in the hallway, Sammy, it's Hench! I ducked for cover. I would have been fine. Except Buster wasn't. I heard the yowl, then I heard the growl, then I heard the oof, and went rocketing out to the scene of the battle. The scene was ugly. The battle was pitched. Buster was biting at Hench's ankle. Hench, in his pea coat, was aiming a fist that would elevate Buster to Gutless's wall with a plaque and a mounting instead of a neck. I leapt from the carpet and chipped at his hand. It wasn't enough, but it got him distracted, and Buster let go of him just as he whirled. Only now it was me he was suddenly after. I raced for the doorway. He started to chase. He was chased by Buster. I ran through an arch and wound up in a drawing room, lurid with birds in Victorian cages. They started to shriek. There's somebody coming, they hollered. Quiet, there's somebody coming. And somebody came. It was Herman Hench with his dart gun pointed. I leapt to a parrot cage ducking a dart but disturbing a door which escaped on its spring as the parrot came out of it, swooping at Hench like an F-16 on a warrior's flight, and beginning to peck at him. Buster arrived, took a look at the action, and catching its drift, sprung a couple of latches and freed some more birds. We raced to the hallway and started to run for a room with a window. We made a few yards, but then Hench was pursuing us. Hench, with the parrots still pecking his shoulders and eating his ears, was intent on protecting them. Killing a couple of neighborhood cats wouldn't get in his way. He lifted his pistol and whooshed out a dart. It narrowly missed me. We got to a room with a wide-open door and a boat-sized bed and then raced underneath it and leapt to a sill that looked over on 12th Street and started to leap. I felt the sting as the dart hit my shoulder and ricocheted off me. The cinnamon smell was ripe in my nostrils and clung to my pelt. I remembered landing. I hit the sidewalk with Buster beside me. And then I was out. I remembered dreaming. I dreamt of jungles. I dreamt of tigers on Russian plains and exquisite tortoises old as the world whose incredible ancestors probably lived before cats were invented. I dreamt of birds, and I dreamt of Dumbo, who learned how to fly, and I dreamt of animals, two by two, and how Noah saved them and weathered the flood, and I dreamt of Louis, and dreamt of Hench pursuing the lot of us, dart gun in hand, until nothing was left of us. No more cats and no other creatures but Gutless and Hench. I woke in the alley where Buster dragged me. Buster was next to me. Buster said, Hi. I mumbled, What time is it? Buster said, Two and a half hours later. I managed an, Oh. <laughs>